This elephant seal looks really hungry, and he should be. He may not have eaten for almost two months. Is he on a diet? No, but his feeding grounds could be thousands of miles away. You see, every year, male elephant seals like these migrate as much as 2,000 miles from their feeding grounds in chilly northern waters to their breeding grounds here in Northern California. Then they set up territories on these beaches, away from killer whales, sharks, and other predators that feed on sea elephant pups. When the females arrive, the competition for territory is fierce. Like two heavyweight boxers, the males snort and threaten would-be rivals, and if needs be, come out swinging. The males have tough skin on their necks for protection. But despite this, many end up bloody and some get badly hurt. In the end, the biggest guy gets the biggest territory. And the guy with the biggest territory gets the prize. A big group of females called a harem. During the mating season, the winning male mates with as many of them as he can. The males are four times the size of the females. But even so, all of this fighting and mating can be exhausting. For the females, on the other hand, the harem life seems to be one long slumber party. It may seem like the only thing to worry about is not getting sunburned. But grouchy males can actually be a serious threat to the females. Just think how you'd feel if you were accidentally run over by one of these 4,000-pound giants. They may seem ill-tempered, and they are, but male elephant seals need to be grouchy to protect their harem. And the rule of thumb seems to be, the bigger the harem, the grouchier the male. Some harems are so big that the males have a hard time defending them from other males. This male just barely manages to keep his harem together. Maybe it's because he has such an empty stomach. After all, he hasn't eaten in months. In fact, the big males can lose up to half their body weight during the mating season. That's over a ton. And when the males do go, they'll still have a few weeks' journey to the dinner table, their feeding grounds in polar waters. And when they get there, they'll have to dive up to 1,500 meters to feed. That's almost a mile. Finally, the males start their journey. And not a moment too soon for this little guy. Since he's still a youngster, he can't compete with the big males for harems. So for him, the first few trips back to the breeding grounds may be little more than an exercise in starvation. So off they go, leaving the females and pups to fend for themselves on the beach. Male elephant seals aren't big on family values. But females are known for their maternal instincts, right? Not female elephant seals. Soon, they too will leave the safety of the beach and undertake a long journey in search of a square meal. But what about the pups? Now that they've been weaned, they're called weaners, and they're on their own. Can you imagine having to learn how to swim and fish all by yourself? Well, that's what baby elephant seals have to do. It may seem scary, but these wieners aren't whiners. They know that if they rely on their instincts, they actually have the perfect babysitter, Mother Nature. <laughs>